using the GROW model during coaching conversations. So what does the GROW model stand for? G stands for goal. So as you're coaching uh, your coachee, you're going to make sure that they first identify their goal. What is their goal? What are they trying to accomplish? Then the R is their reality. What is their current reality? The, first, the O is what are your options moving forward? Now, I want to point out that what are your options? Your options mean the coachee's options. It's not the coach giving the options to the coachee here. They are still discovering and they are still learning um, about their goal and they're creating options along the way that's going to help them to spur into action. And the W is the will. What will you do now? So what will that coach E do now that they have identified the options and they've selected one that they would like to start growing in? And then they, um, what's going to happen next? So during a coaching conversation, it's important to point out the different roles that each individual plays. So let's talk about the coach's role first. The coach is going to be doing a lot of listening. They're going to listen to see what is happening, what is the current problem, and how are the solutions that that coachee are coming up with, how that's going to spur into action. They're going to ask thought-provoking questions. So for the coach's role, it's not to ask a bunch of questions. It's to ask the questions that really get that coachee moving forward. And we also want to have positive intent. When we ask questions, we want to assume that they've either already thought about something or they've already done it in the classroom. And it's so important that the coach's role is that it's not about you. The coach isn't trying to come up with a solution. The coach isn't trying to share big ideas or knowledge that they have. Remember from the past episodes that the coach is not the giver of information. The coach leads the coachee based on good questioning and support in order for the coach to make progress, the coachee to make progress. So let's look at the coachee's role. The coachee is going to develop solutions. They're going to identify their goal. And as they identify their goal, the solutions are going to help them move forward so that they can continue growing. They're going to engage in self-reflection. So during this process, in this coaching conversation, reflection is going to happen naturally and it's going to help them create the options that's going to be able to move them forward. And they're going to identify realistic actions that move towards the goal. And most importantly, they're going to grow. So here are some tips as you are having these coaching conversations with your coachee. First of all, the goal needs to be measurable. So sometimes I'm working with teachers and the their goal is something that's great, but there's no way that they're going to be able to identify success from that goal. So making sure you're asking questions so that they can have a clear definition of, is this a measurable and actual goal? Reality. Tip, this is super important. This is your opportunity to get a glimpse into their classroom. So it's okay if you are not sure what's exactly happening in the classroom. Odds are the coachee isn't very clear on their reality as well. So it's really important that you can keep telling them, tell me more, and to identify specifics questions that will help them to understand what their real the real reality is and odds are they're actually doing more than they think they are during the options phase remember we never have the answer it's so hard to sit back and not give ideas or suggestions but this is the time where the coachee really gets to unlock their potential and really find out what it is that they're wanting and then what options can they create themselves that's going to progress them towards their goal. And the last thing for Will 
it's not ever about perfection. It's always about progress and moving forward. So make sure to ask them, what does done look like for you? And this will help them to understand what it is that they're really wanting to see from this goal. This last slides in the slide deck are two resources that will help you have a better understanding of the GROW model and will provide you with questions to help start your GROW model conversations. Oh.